Okay, so some of y'all know that my day job is director of minority outreach, but not dead yet. Okay, not dead yet is a disability rights uh, organization, premier organization, uh, sistering with the gap that fights against doctor-assisted suicide and euthanasia of people with disabilities. And next, we have our board member, our board officer, Shonda McLaughlin, to say some words, but not dead yet. First, thank you all for allowing me to be here today. Um, it's an honor to be in solidarity here with ADAPT and especially on behalf of Not Dead Yet. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Anita Cameron. I appreciate everything you are trying to teach me. Thank you. I would like to share something personal with you all about me. As a teenager, I missed attending a significant part of my sophomore and all of my junior year of high school. It was a time of my life where I couldn't do anything for myself, leave the house, dress, sit up, think, bathe, basic things that we all may take for granted. Some thought I was a burden to society and my family specifically because many are so at ease to write off and devalue the lives of people with disabilities like mine, suicide is perpetuated as a, vi as a viable option for the disabled as opposed to them exercising their civil rights, particularly those from certain communities. For example, non-disabled who express suicide will be offered prevention services, while their counterparts will be assisted with suicide. Plus, black people, brown people, and the elderly are disproportionately impacted. Right. Yeah. Still, I somehow believe that I was going to college regardless of my circumstances, meaning everyone was telling me I couldn't go to college. Why? Stem from advocacy efforts from parents of children with disabilities, legislation like Rehabilitation Act and the Americans with Disabilities Act made it possible for me to attend college. Most importantly, however, the Vocational Rehabilitation Program afforded me the opportunity to temporarily have a personal care attendant, which made it possible for me to choose to participate in some aspects of my collegiate life. Since that time, however, I've done other things and I went on to earn my PhD. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I go back and say nah, 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 nah to those <laughs> who say I couldn't do it. <laughs> Maybe I didn't say that. The Disability Integration Act is comprehensive and it, it assures full integration of people with disabilities. Eligible persons would have access to long-term support services and a federal right in choosing how they receive those services. So not dead yet and adapt, advocate for policies that promote life and liberty for persons with all disabilities. Thank you, ADEP, for your promotion of the Disability Integration Act. Not dead yet stands firmly in solidarity with you as this act will give people with disabilities and the elderly the civil rights to receive the attendant services and other supports at home, assisting people to live, not die, Access to services and support at home must be available to those who need it, not suicide, life, and liberty. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Shonda. Thank you so much and for not dead yet support. And, you know, be, be, before I call on our next speaker, okay, I, I'm going to go and need her here for a second. I am going to call on the house to pass the Disability Integration Act by July 26, 2019. We can pass this bill, okay? There is support for this bill. Don't be afraid of this bill. This is civil rights. Pass the Disability Integration Act by July, 19, July 26, 2019. And with that, I am going to call forward Liz Weintraub from AUCD, 
so excited to have you here, Liz. I can't see you, so 